This is Detective Lee, the lone survivor from the albino case. The albino case was a tragic case where six people died. I decided to make a film out of it using three cameras that was used during the case. Where are you? Where are you? I want to see you. Come out. Come out. There. I found you! Hey, Nigel, do you think Doug will like me creating my very own vlog? Of course not, dude. Albinos hate being filmed. But, like, he'll get famous in, like, two weeks after I upload it. Shut up, Stevie. What the hell is that thing? I'm just starting my own fire ass vlog. Probably the gayest thing I've heard in my life. Come on, Douglas, it's not that bad. Fine, just don't let that piece of shit get in my way. So, uh, Douglas. What? Bet I can whoop yo albino ass back to albino land in 1v1 basketball. <laughs> I sense a tournament coming. Alright. Doug, I'll beat your ass in 2K so hard that your albino skin will turn red from the beating. Nigel, he knows he's albino. This is Jack Ford from BBC News broadcasting live from your mom street. Detectives, can you tell us what happened last night? Well, it seems like a murder happened last night in the house behind us. Yeah, it was a super hectic death and I'm still recovering. Yes, but um, can you tell us exactly what happened? Well, you see, uh, in the past couple of months, a lot of mysterious deaths have been happening in Fox BC. And all the targets have been albinos. Albinos? Yes. I don't understand. Albinos. Yeah, I don't know who is going to all these vicious deaths, but we'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, thank you, detectives. This has been Jack Ford from BBC News. Back to you, Rob. Oh my god, Douglas. Um, Douglas? Don't worry, guys, I'll be fine. <laughs> Douglas, this is really serious. You're albino. Man, there's nothing I can do. Doug, since you're a friend, we'll stay with you the entire spring break. You guys don't have to do that, but okay, I guess. This is Andy Jung. This is my quest for greatness. I took some time off to shake those detectives after me, but don't worry, my fans, I'm here. I got some stuff for you guys. Where are you, my child? I can smell you. Are you in here? Are you in here, my child? Well, Judgment Day is here for you. This is Jack Ford with BBC News reporting live from Richmond. We're at the scene of a murder. Come on, let's go check it out. What are you 
doing? Get out of here! There's no time for this, Alex. Just go. Alright, I'm right behind you, Jason. Gary, let's go. What are you doing here? Tell me what happened. This is what happened. I found a note. I am the great albino hunter. I will kill every albino in BC. I'm down to my last target, and the lucky soul lives in Vancouver. Let's see if you can stop me. Jason, we're in trouble here. Turn the camera off right now. Okay, Bill, we need to make sure we're ready to film at all times. It's a good thing the detectives haven't seen us on the street. You know, it's the same one that the muscle man kid lives on. You know, this news will make us rich, and I don't want to pass up on an opportunity like this, okay? So, Stevie, this is actually a pretty nice camera. Thanks, Nodge. So what do you guys want to do? Hmm, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, Goddamn, guess we're answering the door today. The door's ringing. I wonder who it is. Yeah, shut up, Douglas. Yeah, Bro! Why are you so hard? What's going on out here? Don't need some bread, buddy! Oh my god! Haha, <laughs> you just got pranked! Oh. Wait, is this a Douglas Musselman? I'm Douglas Musselman. Uh, sorry, I was like, oh. Yo, um, <laughs> yo, who is that? That's our intern. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry, man. Oh. So anyway, uh, we're just here to tell you that we're gonna be patrolling this neighborhood for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, there's been some serious shady murders going on around here. Like, serious shady. Like, hectic shady. Like, Ian Tavish shady. Albino target shady. Ian McTavish shady. Like I, I watched the woman I love get thrown out of a plane and then hit midair by another plane. Okay, thank you. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, guys. See you guys. Thanks. Thanks, man. So, Douglas, are you worried about what's a, what's going on? No. Maybe. Yeah. It's okay, Douglas. These cops look like the biggest bros around. That Jason Lee guy looks like a huge stud. Yeah, I bet he could 360 windmill through the legs from the free throw line on a 15 foot hoop. Wow. Yeah, I bet like when he shoots, Steph Curry gets jealous. Yeah, he's way better than me at basketball. According to my calculations, if I pull this off without getting caught, I should be able to kill the last albino in British Columbia, Douglas Muscle Man. Boy, you ain't got nothing. Boy! Oh, oh. I just crossed your ass. Oh, it's got a Boy, get blocked. Weak stuff. Get that weak stuff. Yeah, come here. I dare you. No, Ray Allen. What is that? Oh, man. You're scared, bro. Let's go. Oh, oh shake and bake. Uh-oh. No, no way. Ah. Uh. Get that over here. Here's. Hello? What the? Yo, Jason, who is that? Jason, I'm phoning Jason. Holy moly, Jason. A stranger just phoned me and said I'm gonna die tonight. I think it's the albino killer. Oh my god. Don't worry, Douglas. We'll get there right away. I can't believe this is happening. Doug, don't worry. You have us and the police. Yeah, I guess. I don't want to die without having the chance to 1v1 the great Jason Lee. What's up with that? I don't know, man. It's pretty trash. I mean. <laughs> Thank god he's here. Bruh, who are you? Uh, hey guys, I'm the uh, UPS man. Oh, hey man. Hey. Psych! 
you were killed Douglas Muscle Man. Oh, no! Oh. Hi, Douglas! Hurry, Zach, Douglas, my dog! What? Dude, the camera! Oh my god! Dude, that's such a snack! These things go for quite expensive. Wow. Alright, let's go. Douglas must. Oh my god! Holy. What? Dude, it's a dead body. What happened here? Wait, Jason. Pose. <laughs> but what happened here? I don't know. He's dead. The killer must have come in there. Let's go. Let's go find him, Zach. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please don't kill me. Please, no. I'm here. <laughs> This is Jack Ford with BBC News. We heard some screaming around this neighborhood and we're going to check it out. Come on, let's go inside. Oh my god! We don't know what's happening here, but we're gonna enter the crime scene. This is Detective Lee, the lone survivor of the Albino case. The last five minutes in the house was complete chaos. Everyone was dying. Douglas Muslim and his two friends died. The news reporter died, and even my best friend and my, my partner, Zachariah Rook, died. It was a intense final scene. We were fighting the Albino killer, Andy Jung. And to Andy, he had the axe right above my head. My partner flew in and saved my life. However, he died also. I avenged his death by killing the albino killer, but by then, it was too late, everyone was dead. The last albino in the province of BC, Douglas Musselman, died. Since that day, there has been no albinos in the province of BC. This was Jason Lee, lone survivor of the albino case.